everybody. Welcome to the More Sunshine Please exploration of the 2018 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. I was here last night with my family, did a little bit of exploring, never made it into World Showcase, so I'm going to be doing that today. I'm very hungry. It's about lunchtime right now, so I'm very interested to try the new offerings. I'm going to start out by showing you a montage of the merchandise available and then we'll get into uh, the food offerings here at the festival. Come on. Festival, Epcot has this scavenger hunt where you go around the world to showcase and you find Remy wherever he's hiding. So if I see Remy, I'll point him out. Uh, maybe I should have said spoiler alert first. Okay gang, enough of this nonsense. Let's go find the food. Trying the Steakhouse Blended Burger at Earth Eats. Here we go. It's very mushroomy and I, I like that. The Steakhouse Blended Burger says it comes with blended beef with mild mushrooms, brie cheese fondue, arugula, truffle, and blue cheese potato chip. The bun is nice and soft. It's a slider, so it's a tiny burger. It costs five dollars, so that's an expensive slider, but it is delicious. If you notice my clothes change during this video or the time of day has changed, it's because I'm mixing in some footage we recorded last night. As a matter of fact, over at Active Eats, uh, we tried the salmon, so I'll show that to you right now. Salmon is a great flavor, but I think it's been sitting out a little bit. It's the, the crust on here is quite hard and it it made digging into the piece of salmon a little difficult. But it has a good flavor. And we're back. Here's the popular flavors from fire food options. 
Men's menu. Here at Flavors of Fire, I have the charred chimichurri skirt steak on a smoked corn cake with pickled vegetable slaw and cilantro aioli. Uh, the steak's not bad. Yeah, it's um, like three three slices of the skirt steak. The uh, the smoked corn cake uh, is probably uh, the best thing on this plate. I'm going to amend my review here. I like the steak better than the corn cake. Uh, it's grown on me. Uh, I'd get this again. I showed the light lab on my live stream yesterday. Cut some of that in here. <laughs> some glow in the dark food and drinks in there. Mostly drinks. Let's head this way. Last year they had a, a chocolate stand, a cheese stand. Looks like they still do. In festivals past, they had a Caribbean booth here, and uh, they don't have that this year. That's the first one I see that's missing. Unless it's somewhere else. The Almond Orchard is back, brought to you by the good people at Blue Diamond, makers of Almond Breeze Almond Milk. Not a sponsor. If you are a first-timer to an Epcot festival, pick up one of these passports. It gives you the menu for every offering in the festival. It gives you times and dates of events, and it's a very handy little tool to have. A bunch of stickers. Over by the, what I call the back door to Epcot, uh, you can see construction of the Disney Skyliner behind the France Pavilion. Looks like you can just, from the bridge here, you can just barely see the top of the Skyliner towers. So uh, for those that were fearful 
that the Skyliner would ruin the Epcot aesthetic. Uh, I think for the most part it's going to be hidden behind the, the pavilions. Last year, everything we tried in the Brazil marketplace was delicious. They have a new offering called, I think it's called Mokeca. And it's a Brazilian seafood stew featuring scallops, shrimp, and whitefish with coconut lime sauce and steamed rice. So I'm gonna dig into this. I'm sitting next to a speaker. The coconut lime sauce isn't very coconutty or limey. Uh, the fish, fish is done well. Try a shrimp. This isn't bad, but it's not great. Would I get it again? I would try other things first. The fish stew in the Brazil marketplace was a tiny bit disappointing and I got it all over my shirt, so double disappointing. Now let's see what they have in uh, Morocco. My first adult beverage of the festival um, at the Morocco Marketplace, the Red Organic Sangria. So here we go. That's sangria. It's a tiny bit stronger than I had expected. I wish it were a little fruitier. I do like it though. I don't want to like it too much. That can get dangerous. This is the Mexico Pavilion, and I have a Remy alert. Do you see him?
Here's the Caribbean marketplace. Did I get to see all the marketplaces and all the food offerings? I don't really know. I think I did. I think I showed most of them. And I tried some things. And uh, here, take a look at how I graded the things I tried. We all joke that Epcot is 90% festivals anymore, but they truly are fun. It's fun to try all these different foods and and uh, to see all the different decorations they have going on. So I'm happy the Food and Wine Festival is here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.